we want to find a formula for the general term a sub n of the sequence, assuming the pattern of the first few terms continues. When we have a sequence of fractions, these can sometimes be more challenging, and often it's helpful to analyze the numerator and denominator separately. But the first thing we might notice is that these fractions do alternate signs. Notice how the first fraction is negative, the second fraction is positive, the third fraction is negative, and so on. But to start, we'll ignore the signs and just focus on the terms in the numerator and denominator. So looking at just the numerator, notice how we add three each time to get the next numerator. So because we're adding three each time, we should recognize that the numerator would be an arithmetic sequence, and therefore we can use the formulas for an arithmetic sequence to find a formula just for the numerator. And now looking at just the denominator, again ignoring the signs, notice how the pattern is we would multiply by three to find each denominator. And therefore we can use the geometric formulas to find a formula for the denominator. So again, focusing on just the numerator, we'll find the formula, and then we'll focus on just the denominator and find the formula, and then we'll determine how to alternate the sign. So for the numerator, a sub one would be equal to five, and the common difference d is equal to positive three. So using our formulas for an arithmetic sequence for a sub n, we can say that a sub n equals a sub one, which is five, plus the quantity n minus one times d, which is three. So let's simplify this. We'd have five plus three n minus three. So just for the numerator, we can say that a sub n is equal to two plus three n. And now let's focus on just the denominator, again ignoring the sign. For the denominator, we can say that a sub one is equal to three, and r, the common ratio, would be three as well. So now using our formulas for a geometric sequence here, a sub n is equal to a sub one, which is three, times r raised to the power of n minus one, which would be three to the power of n minus one. Because a sub one and r are the same, we can multiply, and when multiplying in the bases are the same, we add the exponents, so this simplifies nicely to just three to the power of n. So now except for the alternating sign, we have a formula a sub n for the sequence. a sub n would be equal to, again we can use the formula two plus three n for the numerator, and we can use the formula three to the power of n for the denominator, but we still have to alternate the sign of the fractions, and we can do this by using a factor of negative one. Notice how if we multiply the numerator by a negative one to the power of n, if n is odd, the fraction would be negative. If n is even, the fraction would be positive. Let's see if this works. Notice how the first, third, and fifth terms are negative, and the second and fourth terms are positive, and therefore negative one raised to the power of n would give us the correct sign. And therefore, this formula for a sub n would produce the given sequence. I hope you found this helpful.